Um, so what I know about this is that it's it's sort of loosely inspired by a, a true story, uh, yeah. inspired by a friend of yours. Yeah. But what can you say about the first like origins of where the story came from? So, uh, you know, I met Brittany, real Brittany in college. Uh, I loved her. She was so funny. She was so smart. She was so talented. Uh, and we lost touch in our early 20s. But then in our mid-20s, I needed a place to live, and she needed someone to live with her, so I moved in with her. And we started having talks about, you know, the talks you have in your mid-20s about life and what is success and what is fulfillment and how can we get there and what does it mean for us. And out of that conversation, um, she went for her first run, and I <laughs> thought, this is a movie, you know? It's a really funny, amazing uh, character who's gonna take control of their life. I wanna see that. And in the movie, uh, you know, Brittany is the hero and she's also her own villain. Right. And so I wanted to see that, you know, in close up. How did she feel when you told her that you were uh, writing a movie? I said to her, <laughs> you know, I said, uh, I don't know if I should tell you this, but I'm writing a movie about you. And she said, what's it called? And I said, it's called Britney Runs a Marathon. And she said, how fast does she finish it in? Nice. <laughs> and then, you know, I started talking to her about the plot of the film. And weirdly, her life started to mimic the plot of the film oh. about two months after that. Is Jillian very much like her as a person? Uh, Jillian, as, an, as a human, is is uh, great and that Brittany's great also, you know, they're, they're similar in that way and they have, uh, you know, they have a lot of shared world experiences and felt experiences going through the world as women. Um, uh, but the character is a little bit different than my friend Brittany uh, and Jillian played this character with such dedication and had this real uh, uh, instinct to protect the character in the same way that I wanted to protect this story so that it was both fun and funny but also delicate and respectful and that the audience empathized with her and we were never laughing at her right. that it was you know through relating to her that we were able to laugh so uh, she was a real gift and I'm, I'm happy we, we worked <laughs> together the film of course won uh, Sundance uh, audience award yeah. late congrats on that thank you uh, what was that experience like and then the subsequent you know getting the the distribution deal I mean the 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 premiere and the bidding war were uh, pipe dreams and the air is really thin up there and also you're being shuffled around all the time so you're not eating and you don't know what's actually real and what's not <laughs> so you know it's like it's it takes days of waking up and looking at your phone to realize that it's actually real uh, but it's a dream come true I was a huge fan of the big sick I loved uh, the way that Amazon handled that film yeah. and uh, they've been really incredible and they know we want to uh, show this movie to people in a communal setting. It's important to get people shoulder to shoulder when they watch this movie, uh, and so they've been supportive of that. You hear the word um, inspirational used a lot to describe this film. Was that sort of uh, one of your goals when you set out to make it? Yeah, I wanted people to have a really good time in the theater, to um, feel like they were just watching a story that they could get lost in, but also relate to, and then sort of a surprise sucker punch at the end mm -hmm. where they saw themselves in the lead character. You know, the idea is you watch this movie and you think, I know that girl, and then by the middle of the film you think, wait, I am that girl right. for everybody, if they're a man or a woman or whatever. And then by the end of the film you think, if I work hard enough, I could be that girl. And I want people to leave this theater thinking that they could be Britney. That step's broken, so just be careful. Oh, they should put a sign. Hey, um, listen, I'm part of this runner's group on Saturdays, and you give me judgmental looks for three years, and now you want me to join a running group with you? I thought we had a thing. Sorry about the olive branch. So watching you guys in this movie, for a person like me, is kind of exhausting, because it seems like every scene you're either mm -hmm. running in place or jogging or <laughs> exercising. Was it, uh, was it a physically demanding, as physically demanding as it looks? You know, it was a bait and switch, because when I started the movie, all the scenes were like in apartments and sitting down at my computer or talking to Brittany in her apartment or just passing her by or starting my run, where I'm like, looking at my watch and getting ready to go. Um, and then as we got into the meat and potatoes of it, we were running in every scene. Oh yeah, I'd say 85% of the scenes I shot were running and talking and <laughs> yeah. we're doing some kind of physical exercise and yeah. talking. Yeah, over and over and over. Yeah, I'm someone who can't do the dishes and the whole conversation, so. <laughs> so it was as grueling for you as it was for your character. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, you know, we're, we're actors who are protected by unions, so we can just <laughs> stop whenever we want to, but, yeah. uh, <laughs> but no, it was, it was exhausting, but it was also a lot of fun. Yeah. Jillian C seems like somebody who's very easy to kind of build a rapport with. Uh, can you guys talk about working with her and kind of developing that great chemistry that you have? Um, she's just amazing and she showed up like all in, you know what I mean? So she set the tone, which was really beautiful, which just, you know, we just knew like 
she's the funniest person in the world, Thank just you. so you know that. Um, and for somebody to have that restraint and be like, I'm, that's not the story I'm telling, you know, my character is humorous as hell, and Jillian brought so much comedy to the movie, but, um, but the character is going through her own kind of hell. And, uh, and so she just, we just, you know, got in line behind her and we're like, okay, yes, this is, this is the story we're doing, this is what we're telling. And you know, Jillian's in almost every frame of the movie, but her capacity to take care of, you know, all the yeah. other actors, yeah. I think was astonishing. You know, yeah. we all shot, you know, a fraction of the amount of time that she shot on days that we were there. Right. And she was always the one to be like, How are you? Are you holding up? Do you, you know, what can I do you? for you? Can we move on? Is that, are you sure it's okay yeah. to move on? Like, okay. And like we're exhausted. Like, I mean, honestly. What can you do for me? <laughs> uh, out of everybody in the cast, who do you think would uh, fare best in a marathon? Or come in first? Come in first in a marathon. <laughs> Uktarsh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to know. I think, baby, he's got the most energy of all of us. <laughs> yeah, I will put some good money on Uktarsh. Yeah. 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 What was it like when you found out that it won the uh, award, the audience award at Sundance? Oh my God, I was just like, I mean, I've been to Sundance a few times with a lot of movies that I think are so splendid and beautiful and wonderful. And I thought those were like successful Sundances. And then I had this experience and it was Jillian's first time. And I was like, Jillian, this is not how Sundance <laughs> is forever. <laughs> like, this is, this is like a, a fairy tale, yeah. you know, ending. I can't, I mean, it's just the beginning too. and. Um, I'm just so happy that it means the success of that film at that festival it means that more people will get to see this movie because I think it can actually change lives, truly. And the uh, the award was sort of the cherry on top of what was already just such a special thing to you know to be in the theater and watch it affect you know as many people as yeah. it did yeah. at the, I mean, at the was premiere mess. was oh yeah it was beautiful I'll never yeah. forget it. I want to run the New York City Marathon. I think that is such a good idea. Hmm. That's a bad omen. Hold it! Hold it! This? Oh, thank you so much. My whole life, the world told me I was lazy because the way I looked. Oh, I was trying to turn my life around. Everything's gonna be fine. People hold doors for me. I'll hold doors for you. This is my last word. You changing your life was never about your weight. Hold it, please! It's about you taking responsibility for yourself. We're going backwards. Oh.